come to the Greater Belfast area to what's called the Black Mountain and the Divis Mountain. It's there in front of us. And uh, we're going to do a walk with Sarah and Declan. It's Sarah's birthday today. It's the 9th of July. And uh, we're here first. We're on Friday BM today. Andrea's doing a bit of social media. <laughs> Looking at the map maybe. And uh, we're hoping to do about five to six miles today. Um, never been up here, so this should be good. First thing in the morning. Happy birthday, Sarah. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. 31 today. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sarah, what are we going to do today? We're going up the Divis Mountain. So we're off. What are we going to encounter here? Am I going to be in the next video? You never know. You never know. It's just, there can be a lot of... Uh, Careful editing sometimes. So this is the upper car park, which we declined because we're hardcore. Yeah. We just decided we'd walk from the lower car park. There's a cafe here and a ranger's office. Checks the gate so well. Onwards. Just look at the wee babbling streams. Yeah. The birds. Nice. We are taking a right here. Head towards the ridge trail of the Black Mountain. Here we are. Hello. Together again. Absolutely. Out in the out in the countryside. Do we call this bridge number one, Andre? I think so. I don't know how many bridges we'll see today. We'll call this one bridge number one. Looks like this is how we're going to rock all day. Declan's going to take the lead, Sarah's going to stroll along behind, and then Andre and I will be doing the, doing the photographs. Sarah. It's very small. Yeah. Yeah, so that's a kestrel we see there. Like, he he's just sort of hovering. He's hovering now. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. points into the wind, flies in between the wind, looking for mice. Yeah, look, he's down. Yeah. Okay. First style of the day. You got to be socially distant here and uh, not touch a thing. Oh, very elegantly done, Andre. Elegantly done. Okay, so we've got Divis Mountain there now. I'm just going to scan around. And uh, just beyond those trees is Loch Ney. Let's scan around a little bit further. We're now going to start to look down into Armagh County Down. And just above Sarah's head there now is the Mourns. So we'll get a better view of it later, further on as we go. Sight of Belfast. And, uh, we get better views of it as we get up higher, I think. Moving forward. There's quite a bird song around here. I've seen a lot of birds, I've seen like one kestrel, I've seen lots of crows and lots of other little birds. So, keeping our eyes open. There's not many people here. And again, we've got a Belfast view. Uh, first view of Belfast Lock. Of course, there's a couple of cruise ships in there. 
I'm going to have to. I'm going to see the cruise ships into the dock, so I'm going to have to scan it and see them. Oh. Well, now, there's two cruise ships in there. Obviously being refitted. I don't know what they are. I hope you can see it when we'll I get home. There's the first one. There's the Titanic building and King's Landing. Game of Thrones is in there somewhere too. Just can't see it on the viewfinder, but I believe it's in there. Excellent, excellent. Oh, Belfast Lock, lovely vista. That's the center of Belfast. Windsor Park. on the hill ahead of us. That's where we're going. Up there. The summit's in sight here. The summit is in sight. The turn. Everest, Toppet, Divis, sort of goes in that sort of order. So we just hung a left at the big masts. The man with the dog is coming towards us. Looks like a boardwalk here. Oh, look at the dog. Many points for the dog. Well, I don't think it's Quilka, but it's a boardwalk. Very good. Summit Trail. Yes, you're on the Summit Trail. Celebrity Summit. Following Andrea, she knows where she's going. Heading up the Divis, Divis Mountain. Ah, oh, Andre is getting a wee bit, wee bit of a puff. Another nice view of Belfast Lock. Looks nice now, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Seem to be straggling up the hill. We do. No straggling. No straggling. Sarah's doing lunges. Wild strawberries, eh? Declan's doing anything to get points for that.
opinion on the descent. Now on the road back to the car park. Well, there's the car park straight in front. That's the hotel. What about this lock? There's a lock here somewhere, isn't there? Sunlight left. I wonder where that is. Let's go again. This is him just priming, you know, priming. <laughs> well, if we'll not be back here. Let's do the lock. When's the next time we're going to be back here? So we've made a very democratic decision and decided to turn right onto the lock, lock path. Or the lock trail, I think it is. We're walking on single file. Social distancing, yes. Declan leading, on to second, Sarah third, tail gunner Ashley. See when you see that building over there Sarah, what do you think? When you see the black board? I think of that, that is the cricket pavilion and that's the cricket scoreboard. Do you? <laughs> 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 Let's see what, who's coming Arnold, in next. Arnold, six uh, across the road. That's it, that's it. It's a cricket pavilion. There's a bit of hand sanitizer been applied there. We've just finished the lock trail. Yeah, Woo. That's what we were talking about. So we did three trails. Andrea's decided that these trees are worthy of photographing. Uh, the wind has sort of sculpted them. Yeah, we're back now. It'd be a pity to give up our spaces. We have finished, it took us 2 hours 48 minutes and we did 10.8k. Excellent, excellent, great walk, great walk, well done, well done everyone.